<clears throat> hey, what's going on, G-Shock Society? It's your boy, G-Tub. Um, I, I apologize. I was supposed to bring you guys a video Saturday, the 16th. But, um, I worked a 1 to 10 shift at work. And I was too tired to do it afterwards. And then today, Sunday, I worked a 1 to 7 shift after work. I mean, at work. Um, couldn't do it before. And afterwards, I just got busy. Took a nap, fell asleep. But I know this video means a lot to you guys, so I figured 2.15 in the morning, I'd do it anyway. But, um, giveaway was a huge success. Uh, everybody in the TCF has above 100 subscribers now, <clears throat> which is a big plus. Uh, a lot of you guys commented, but, um, nah, it worked out really well. Maybe next time I'll do more than two weeks. Because now, even today, Sunday, I still have people uh, commenting, trying to win it, or whatever. But, um, the reason I don't like doing giveaways is one of two reasons. It's one, I feel like I'm bribing people for subscribers. I don't want people to subscribe for something. Even though afterwards, if they don't win, like when I first did my, when I did my first giveaway, I thought everybody that didn't win was going to um, unsubscribe. But, um, everybody sticks around, which is what I like to see. Um... If you didn't win, it doesn't mean unsubscribe, because that just looks silly on your part. But, yeah, um, that's one reason, because I think I'm bribing people. I don't want people to subscribe because they, they're winning something, or because I'm giving them something, or because we're giving them something. I want people to subscribe beca because they like our channels. Um, and the second reason is because um, it kind of bums me out when, like, 100 people, sub I mean, 100 people comment and only one get to G-Shock, you know what I'm saying, because it's like, I know most of my subscribers, like, I can sit here and name 10, 15 of my subscribers, but, like, it's hard, because, I'm not crying, it's just allergies, relax, guys, but, um, it's hard because, like, I have to declare a winner, and it's like, everybody else gets bummed out, and I get bummed out, because it's like, oh, man, I didn't make, I have 499 subscribers, so I didn't make 498 people happy, but, hey, whatever um and I was I'm hoping a lot of you guys didn't create bullshit YouTube accounts and subscribe to us just for the giveaway cuz I know some of y'all did that don't lie to me cuz I know y'all did that but um yeah so um yeah giveaway is a huge success I did mine first my first giveaway in January or in June that was five months ago so um by the looks of things, if we do another one in a couple months, you're looking at about three a year, which sounds about right. I'm down with that. I'm sure the rest of the team is down with that. Uh, but yeah, and um, I have the winner, um, and I checked their recent activity. I didn't even have to hit up the team to see if they were subscribed to them. I checked their recent activity, and subscribing to all seven of us was in the act in the recent activity. <laughs> His name is actually like deals with G-Shocks, so it's like obviously he's a, a G-Shock fan. <laughs> Hopefully he takes care of the watch. But um, yeah, um, the winner is uh, I have it written down on my phone. Up on my phone. <laughs> New York GW6900. It's his username. Shout out to him. If he's from New York, that's what's up. Cause that's where I'm from. Grew up there. I don't live there anymore. And GW6900. Obviously, he's a 6900 fan. Solar powered, I guess. Don't ask me why, but that's just him. So, shout out to him. Shout out to everybody who commented. I'm sorry if you didn't win. Shout out to all of you. Like, really. I know a lot of you. Um, I got a bunch of new subscribers starting to make videos now. Trying to grow their collections. Trying to make it in this. If I was the reason... If I was one of the reasons that you started doing this, um, that's what's up. Thank you a lot. Because um, I really don't do this for any kind of fame or gratitude or whatever. I only do this because I like G-Shocks. And I know a lot of you like G-Shocks. And I want to know, I want you guys to know as much as I know. I want you, to got, you guys to see um, how I wear them, what I wear them with, when I wear them. Um... I want you guys to see the pieces I'm interested in, the pieces I like the most. So, again, I'm sorry if you didn't win. And I'm sure 95% of you cut off the video after you found out it wasn't the name. But, whatever. That's, 
That's on y'all, but like um I wanna thank everybody who's a part of this movement. I wanna thank the society, the nation. Um, it's the same thing, just there's a different name for it. Shout out to all my TCF brothers, Adrian, that dude, Monty, three thousand spills, S dot and Prince. Um they help make this happen. Adrian specifically, you're the man. But um <clears throat> yeah, I mean that's about it. Sorry guys. Um as far as everything else, those of you first of all my aqua team's still on sale. I'm working on somebody right now who's trying to buy it. But if we can come up with some shoot me offers, um I know a lot of you guys are trying to grow a collection. It's an awesome limited edition piece to add to your collection. I didn't even wear it that many. It's in perfect condition. I'm gonna say ten out of ten. Um so I know there's a lot of you guys trying to start a collection. It'd be a great limited edition piece to add. It was my second limited edition to the crank. So, um, it'd be good if you started there. It's matte, so it'd show you how to take care of a limited edition. Um, if you're into glossy watches, it'll show you what a matte watch is really like. There's a lot of detail going on. Some, you know, the watch is different. But, um, yeah. Other than that, shout out to G-Shock UK seller. He is a monster at customizing them G's. Um, I, he likes to have, like, a reason to customize them, he tries to find like tied down to something whether he's trying to coordinate it with a pair of Jordans or uh you know a car or Power Rangers like I was current my collection he does it really well and he does a lot of thinking and you can tell that he puts a lot of effort into what he does um I kinda have a challenge for him <clears throat> and uh we should see how he comes up this Saturday when a pair of my favorite Jordans come out. See how he coordinates with it. Um, I got a nice coordination for the shoes, but I'm gonna let him do it. I'm gonna let him do it first. I didn't customize anything, so I don't customize watches, but I'll leave it to them. But I wanna see what he does, and then I can show y'all my outfit. I'm gonna put together for that probably be my next video if that fake G-Shock doesn't come in before that. Other than that, I got Adrian working on a beautiful piece for me. Um, really, really expensive piece. Really rare, really hard to find. But I told him, no matter the price, if he comes across one, let me know. Um, it's a piece that hasn't been reviewed on YouTube yet. So, um, hopefully I get to be the first one. It's a really awesome piece. Um, I love it. It's an awesome color. But, um, yeah. Uh, what else? Am I missing anything? Um, I can show you what I got going on. I mean, I'm in a beater because I'm about ready for bed. But even when I'm home, I coordinate uh, Red Mud Man. Uh, yeah, I saw the red bracelet already. I showed that to y'all. That's not new to y'all. Um, got a gray beater, so I figured I'd throw on the red bottom Cincinnati fitted. You know, because black with the gray and the red. Obviously, there's some gray in the Mud Man. And I told y'all I love Jordan Slides, so... Still got a pair right there. Y'all see that? Right there. Okay. Red, black, and white. Y'all see how the slides is white? The watch is red. I told y'all, I never, ever, ever, ever have the same color shoes as I do watch. I don't do that. Especially shirt. Like, shirt will never be the same color as the watch. Black or white might be the only time I do it. But other than that, and even that I do rarely. So, um, even at home, we coordinate because coordination skills is insane and you never know who's gonna stop by and say hi something like that um, but yeah um, just remember G-Shocks are an accessory and they're supposed to be worn, worn right so <clears throat> the better you make them look the better we look as a movement yeah I'm just bullshitting now cause it's like 2.15 I'm tired and I wasn't really fond of doing this giveaway video, but um, look out for other giveaways. Adrian, eventually with time, wants to want to start giving away limited edition pieces, maybe some plate cloths, some BKCs, and all that good stuff. My problem is, as greedy as it sounds, if it's a BKC, I'm going to make sure every member of the TCF who wants a BKC, because I'm not really a big fan of the BKC, but like I wouldn't chase it, especially for the prices that you'll be seeing. Every, every member of the TCF that wants a BKC will have one before I would give one away. Um, I won't. I wouldn't let Adrian give away a BKC if that dude is still looking for one. If Monty's still looking for one, you know what I'm trying to say? So it's like, 
if we all, for example, uh, let me pick a piece. The Aqua Team. Um, I'm willing to give up the Aqua Team. If nobody else on the team wants the Aqua Team, and, you know, sure, why not? Special occasion, G-Shock hits 1,000 subscribers. Let's give away an Aqua Team. Like, yeah, why not? Sure. But, like, I'm still looking for a play clause. I'm still looking for 100, 6,900. So it's like, I'm not gonna, we can't give one away if I'm still looking for one. <laughs> as great as that sounds, I'm sorry guys. But um, yeah, I'm down for giving away limited edition pieces. I mean, it might be a little more money on my pocket, but it makes you guys happy, whatever. But you're looking at about three giveaways a year, which sounds about right. Can't tell you when our next one will be. We just got done with our first one as a team whole, uh, which is a big success, like I said. So yeah, um, so I do the coordination. I spoke about all the stuff I need to talk about. Um, I guess that is pretty much it. Your boy G Dub, G Shock Warrior, TCF Captain is officially signing off. I expect a video from me if for sure by Saturday, if not earlier than that. Um, yeah, got pieces trying to come in. I'm working on the limited edition edition pieces that are being released as we speak in the June July months plus I got Adrian looking for one um, so yeah um, I gave the shout outs uh, there's a lot, like I said there's a lot of collectors starting your collection if y'all need anything I need a help advice um, y'all wanna know if I have any pieces on sale like I said I got the Aqua Teen on sale hit me up it's a beautiful piece of basically if it's your first limited it's a great place to start and Adult Swim is supposed to have more collaboration with with G-Shocks in the future. So if you want to build, there should be supposedly six of them. So that would be a good start for you guys. Um, yeah. Uh, I got nothing to say to y'all. Um, I love y'all. I'm signing off. G-Dub. Um, thanks a lot for the support. Keep it up. The, more, the faster the subscribers race, maybe the fastest we do the giveaway. Maybe it won't be my my months. Maybe it's my subscribers. Maybe if they all hit 250, and I hit like 750 in like two months, then we'll do it then. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm at 500. I just realized that FDX is one of like the other greatest G-Shock reviewers of all time. Only has like a thousand seventy-eight subscribers. He is my next goal. I already passed Mike, and because of the giveaway, it doesn't look like Mike's gonna catch up anytime soon, which is fine. Still love him. Shout out to him. So yeah, so MDX is my next goal. If I pass him, then I'm only behind Paul and Tycho, which is, like, not even fair because it's Paul and Tycho. They're world-famous fashion designers. That's not right. But, hey, I'm down. <laughs> I'm only 20. I'm young. I got um, a lot of things to do, a lot of goals set. I'm down for it, and I'm down to beat. So, it's your boy g -Dub. I'm checking out. I'm watching my wife and kids. There's some other bullshit. I don't remember what the fuck is on. But, um, yeah, I'm signing off. Um, shout out to the G shot to the giveaway winner. Um, stay tuned for my videos if that's what y'all like. If it's if y'all just tune in for giveaways, then y'all got a couple months. But um, keep your collections growing. Don't let your head don't um put your head down. Uh, don't follow your dreams, chase them. Remember that. Um, yeah, and keep those collections going. Just don't let G shocks break your bank. That's all I'm saying. Pay as much as you can pay for them. Because I know they mean a lot to, to you. They mean a lot to me. They're beautiful watches, I know. But they're just watches at the end of the day. Remember that. They're just watches. <laughs> Don't, I mean, pay your rent. <laughs> pay your bills. Feed your kids. Do whatever you got to do before buying the G-Shocks. There'll be more G-Shocks at the end of the day. Alright? But y'all only come once. My subscribers are the best. It's only 500 of them, but best 500 subscribers YouTube's ever had. Alright? So shout out to y'all. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for my videos. I love y'all. Leave your feedback. And deuces, fellas.